Welcome everyone, my name is Xknife, and I just started playing Summoner Wars, and I wanted to kind of show my experiences and what I've learned in the few weeks that I've been playing with other new coming players, so that they can kind of learn the same things that I'm learning that really helped me when I first started. So at first, I wanted to start off with a guide about runes. Runes really make the monster. You can have two of the exact same monsters, but have them do two completely different things depending on how you rune them. So it is very imperative that you learn and understand how runes work and what rune, what are good runes. First I wanted to start off with the number locations for runes. Each rune will have a number that it correlates with its rune slot. So for example, this one here in the middle, this top middle one is going to be your number one rune. The rune to your right is going to be the number 2 rune, so on and so forth with 3, 4, 5, and 6. So those runes can only be slotted in those exact locations. This number 1 rune I have here will only fit in a number 1 slot, etc. After that we have sets. There are a bunch of different sets that will do a bunch of different things to your monster depending on which ones you have allocated. So if we're going to look at energy, at the very bottom here in green text, you'll see that it is a two set, which means it requires at least two of these inside of your monster's rune set to be activated. Then you see right here next to it, it'll show you eight. This one, for example, energy is HP percent. With HP percent, it'll add more HP to your character. There are a bunch of different sets, and each one of these sets will do something different for your monster that will help you in different times. For example, if you were to go to the arena, you'd want a different set for your monster than, let's say, if you were going to go to the dungeon. Two completely different sets that you can place on your monster for whatever environment that you're going to play your monster in. Now, if we look at one of these sets a little bit more closer, like let's take a look at the energy one. You see that this has a two set here? You can actually allocate three separate sets of that monster of that rune into one monster to get that set bonus up to three times because you can have six slots so if you can have two so you can do it two four and then six for other ones like swift here you can see that swift requires a four set so you can only at max have one of these allocated in each of your monsters but you can also mix and match. So I could have one swift set, which is a four, and then I could have one energy set, which is a two, allocating all the way up to six. So using different sets together will have a bunch of different combinations. And if you ever, if anyone ever tells you a monster needs to be swift energy, they're saying that you need to have at least one set of swift and one set of energy. So now let's take a little bit deeper of a look inside of the runes. So every single rune is going to have a primary stat, which is going to be this big top one right here. And every single rune is going to have a different primary stat that is related to what number it is. And we can talk more about what those stats, primary stats are going to be in the future. But for now, just know that each primary stat is going to be different on different runes. So if we look deeper at this rune here, you see how there is an empty space here. Let's see if we can find one. Some runes will have a substat called an innate stat. So this one actually has an innate stat that is resistance 5%. This is a rare um, phenomenon that happens on some runes, and you cannot add it. If it doesn't come when you drop it, you're not going to have it. After that, you can see that there are four more stats underneath the whole rune itself. These runes are called substats. These can be anywhere from percentage HP and flat HP. Now, there are going to be a couple different terms for percentage, which if you look at these two here, we have a percentage HP right here, which is actually going to be a percentage bonus to your unit, rather this one is a flat HP here. This one gives you 352 HP, 
flat, just 352 HP. While this one will actually add 13% of your HP that you have on top of it. So understanding the differences between percentage and flat is important. In general, percentage is going to be better. The next thing I want to talk about is going to be the quality of the stars on your rune. Your rune can have star quality from 1 all the way up to 6. And the different amount of stars will determine how much that the starting primary stat and substats will be. And how much higher they can be once you power them up. So we look at these two runes here. We have a revenge rune that is 3 stars. It's giving you flat plus 7 attack based normal. If we look at a 5 star one, we see that it is giving me 15 flat attack instead. So that's going to be a good example of what the difference of rarity or quality of your stars do and how they interact with your runes. If I were to, let's power up these two here. If I were to power this one up, it'll give me 5, right? I went from 7 and I went to 12. But if I were to power up this one at 15, that's a higher star, it'll give me, instead of 5, it'll actually give me 7 points. So the higher star runes will actually give you more on each power up. And that also applies to the sub qualities as well. And later on, we can talk about the sub qualities or sub stats and how to actually increase those sub stats. So you remember how we talked about the different rarities of runes, how this one is a normal rarity and this one is a magic rarity and then we have rare rarity, etc. up until hero and then legendary. These will actually influence the amount of substats that are going to be on the rune when it drops. So if we look at a normal, there is no substats on here at all. If we look at a magic, there is one substat on here and this goes up and up. If you go to rare, it has two substats, and if you go to hero, it has three substats, and legendary will have four substats. Now, you can turn a rune from normal all the way up to into legendary, and on every three, every three level ups will give it a substat. So let's try that right here real quick. So if we power this one up to plus three it's going to acquire a bonus property. So now, it is now, because it is plus 3, it is a magic with a HP substat. Now, the two differences between this one that went from a normal into a rare because I plus it up 3 means that this substat is only, is only going to be the bottom roll or the... I don't know if there's a term for it, but it only has... Let's say it only has tier 1 of this roll right so it has HP 6% now if we look at this one it already has HP 5% on the substat and it's already it's only plus zero so if we were to plus this one up to three it's going to add a bonus let's say tier two to this HP roll here see now it's nine percent so now we're looking at two different moons that this one here was normal and it was plus it was nothing before and by hitting three it became magic and getting six percent hp while this one already was a magic and has a higher subset because the subset was already here this also applies to rares when i will plus this one up to three if i were to plus this one up to three then it will add one more tier of stats to either one of these two same with the hero and legend runes as well. Now we can actually go one step further. So if I were to power this up to plus six, it will add another stat right here. And the whole time that you're powering it up, your main stat increases. So I just plused it up to plus six, and now you see that there is going to be a second substat here. And you can do this with any rune and make them up to legendary by getting them to plus 12. So if I were to take a 
rare one and power it up to plus three, it'll add one stat on either of these two guaranteed. Because plus three will add a stat here. If there's already a stat here, then plus three will add a tier of stats to one of your uh, one of your substats. If you plus it to plus six, it'll add a substat right here. Or if there is a substat over there already, it will add a tier of it'll t add a tier of points to that to one of these two here. Same with three and four. Plus nine will add a third one. If there's nothing there, it'll add one. Or oh, if there is something there, it'll add a random tier of points to any of the three that are there. Same with the fourth one. Add one if there's nothing there. If there is, then it'll add another tier of points to one of your substats. So you can see, if we were to take a legendary rune that is plus zero, this one has no pluses on it. And if we were to power it up to plus three, it will add one random percentage it'll add one random tier of stats to one of these sub qualities here so it actually landed on accuracy it went from seven percent accuracy to eleven percent accuracy and if we go to plus six it'll do the same thing because it'll check on the second slot see that it already has one here and it'll randomly add another tier to one of your substats you have already. So now instead of increasing your accuracy, it actually increased your critical rate. So now we have 11% inc uh, increased accuracy and 6% increased critical rate instead of 7% increased accuracy and 3% critical rate. So if you start out with a legendary rune that is plus zero, you can all four of the substats that are going to be added, can, instead of adding a tier one substat, it'll actually add a tier worth of stats to one of your four stats. So that is going to be kind of the introductory to how to make strong runes. If you start out with a right rune that is six star, if you start out with a Legendary rune that is six star. The legendary one is going to be more powerful because its substats will have a lot higher tiers. Now let's take a look at this super useful image that was provided to me by Curbs. Thank you so much. This image is super useful. Now if you look at here at the very top where it says one, it shows you that it'll always be flat attack. There's nothing else that a rune in your number one slot will ever be. Same with 3 and 5. 1, 3, and 5, your odd numbers, are always going to be a flat number of each of its respective stat. 1 will always be flat attack. 3 will always be flat defense. 5 will always be flat HP. That's not super interesting. Now, the where it gets complicated and gets interesting is going to be the evens. 2, 4, and 6. They have a chance to be a bunch of different things and they have a chance to be percentages or flats and so two four and six runes are going to be your runes that are going to be the ones that you're actually going after for a lot and they're going to be your build defining runes so if let's look at rune number two at the very top it says you can get flat speed attack percentage defense percentage or hp percentage those are runes that you can get those are primary stats that you can get on your rune whenever it drops. Now we're going to go back to the game and look at that as well. I will put this image in the description below if anyone wants to use it. So it will be helpful to you as well. So if we go back to the game here. Let's go look at some number two runes. We can see that this rune here has attack percentage. But if we go to the next one, this rune has HP percentage. This is determined when the item itself, or when the rune itself, is dropped. So, trying to find runes with the best primary stat is important. So, the next thing to talk about, and this applies for 4 right here as well. Percentage, and it can be different percentages, or it can be flats, etc. And in general, percentage is going to be better than flat here. Um, most of the time, except for 
Room number two, speed is usually super important, but I don't have enough understanding about how important speed is yet. That is something I will cover in a future guide for sure. But the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to runes is when people are telling you to rune your monster. For example, people will say, if you have a Bella, you should rune her eight, uh, you know, speed, HP, HP. So when they say rune her speed, HP, HP, that means your first slot, the first one they say is going to be speed, and that's going to apply to your slot in number two. And they want, they say that your number two slot should be speed. The next one they say HP should be your fourth slot, and that should be HP percent. And then your last slot, your six, is also going to be their HP percent. So, for example, if they were to say, you should do speed, attack, attack, then you'd want your number two rune to be speed, your number four rune to be attack, and your number six rune to be attack. Uh, and that applies with every single monster when they go, when they tell you, when you are told or when you see anything talking about how it is runed. For example, they'll say, my Bella is runed energy swift, HP, or actually, she is runed swift energy, and she is speed, HP, HP. So I think that pretty much covers everything that you need to know about a beginner's guide for runes. Later on in the future, I'd love to cover on what substats make rune great for each different monster. But until then, I've been Xknife, and thank you for watching. If you're interested in uh, hanging out, I put the Discord link in the description below. And you can come hang out and ask questions there, and we can learn together. Thank you so much for watching.